It's not uncommon for products to come and go on store shelves. However, there are certain items that have recently vanished from retail stores, leaving behind an unsettling void. These missing items serve as potent reminders of the rapid shifts occurring in our society, as well as the challenges we face in a world defined by uncertainty. In this video, we'll talk about the disappearance of these 10 items from everyday essentials to once beloved commodities that paints a worrying picture of a changing landscape that demands our attention and raises questions about the future of retail. But before we start, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with our channel. Everything is seeing a return to shortages at American retailers. As demand continues to outpace supply, retailers everywhere are faced with bare shelves of essential supplies, and customers are being forced to pay more for the necessities. In the next few months, it's possible that some summer staples like ice cream, tequila, burgers, and beer won't be available at your neighborhood grocery due to the deteriorating conditions. While many items are still accessible, but only for a limited time, certain essentials are already impossible to get, such as batteries. For a long time, batteries have been in short supply. In 2023, the output of steel, zinc, manganese, potassium, and graphite, all materials used to create the alkaline batteries we buy at the store, will be declining globally. For lithium batteries or even solar-powered batteries, the situation doesn't seem to be getting any better since demand is far outpacing supply on a global scale. Additionally, the U.S. Geological Survey reports that since 2020, the cost of manufacturing batteries has increased by 156%. This indicates that not only are they becoming more difficult to locate, but also that their costs are rising. When a disaster strikes, batteries are sometimes one of the first items to go. So if your supply is becoming low, you should refill it right away before supplies fall much lower. Ice cream. This summer, retailers may run out of one of our favorite ice cream delights. Like with butter, there has been a notable decline in ice cream manufacturing as a result of the shortage of milk. The sector is experiencing a lack of ingredients, especially vanilla, which is in limited supply. Additionally, it is more difficult to locate styrofoam cups and lids, which is delaying the packing process at factories and placing additional strain on food merchants who have already begun placing orders for the next season. Before it's too late, stock up on your preferred ice cream if you haven't already. Beef. Of all the food shortages anticipated for 2023, Americans may experience beef scarcity the most, particularly as barbecue season gets underway. Due to feed shortages, skyrocketing prices, and unfavorable weather, ranchers were compelled to drastically cut the size of their herds of cattle. And although it temporarily bolstered the domestic beef supply, as the months passed, stocks began to seem to be becoming smaller. Mayonnaise. Eggs, oil, lime juice, vinegar, and seven other ingredients are combined to make mayonnaise, which is a creamy, thick sauce. It is an excellent source of carbs, fats, potassium, sodium, vital vitamins, and minerals. Consuming it is associated with several positive health effects, such as preserving heart health, raising blood sugar levels, reducing inflammation, promoting the development of healthy hair, skin, and nails, and moisturizing dry, chapped skin. However, the manufacture of mayonnaise has been negatively impacted by global egg shortages. Due to increased manufacturing costs, a prominent company, Hellman's, stated it would stop selling its products in numerous nations. The price of mayo increased by 18.2% in the previous year, as measured by the Consumer Price Index. Honey. According to experts, this year will be one of the worst for honeybees in over two decades. They claim that beekeepers suffered unprecedented losses this year and that if another icy winter occurs, the outlook for next year would be significantly worse. Nearly 45% on average had been lost to beekeepers nationwide, with some bee farms suffering losses of up to 90%. These losses are alarming, according to Leonard Foster, a professor of biochemistry and molecular biology at the University of British Columbia. In the previous 12 to 15 years, the long-term historical average may have been between 12% and 15%, but it increased to roughly 27%, according to him. 
He said on Friday on CTV's Your Morning that a record high of 45% was extremely difficult to handle. Beekeepers have had to contend with extremely cold winters, intense heat waves, and an increase in the varroa mite, a parasite mite that preys on honeybees. Foster said that since these heat waves dry up the plants and make less nectar available for bees to feed on, the amount of honey produced as a consequence is diminished. Because of this, customers are already seeing fewer choices and rising prices. Local Craft Beer This summer, local craft beer is the one thing that a lot of Americans want, some chilled craft beer. Unfortunately, among the several local companies that were severely impacted by the viral outbreak were artisan brewers. Many of these businesses have permanently closed their doors in recent years as a result of inflation, stricter loan standards, and falling sales. According to Statista, those that are still operating claim a 60% decrease in output, while 28% have completely ceased operations. Make careful to support your favorite neighborhood brewery if it supplies goods to your neighborhood grocery store, since that small business could get out of business soon. Tequila This summer, you may not be allowed to drink margaritas or other beverages that include tequila. The succulent agave, which is used to make the beverage, is grown in six states in Mexico, with Jalisco being the main producer. Extreme weather conditions, such as high temperatures, drought, and unexpected downpours of rain, have hurt sensitive agave plants recently. The tequila-producing agave crops have been harmed by the unprecedented dryness, and experts believe there is little sign that this weather trend will change very soon. The Mexican long-nosed bat, a crucial pollinator species for the agave plant, is also becoming more worried about the high temperatures. Around the globe, pollinators, including butterflies, bats, and bees, are facing steep population losses, which may have disastrous effects on the plants they fertilize. Ron McGill, the communications director and wildlife specialist at Zoo Miami, says that if there were no bats, there would be no tequila since only bats can pollinate the agave plant, which is used to manufacture tequila. Agave growers and tequila producers are worried that the confluence of other changes, pollination disruptions, and the rising popularity of premium tequila brands may render the tequila market's rapid growth unsustainable and result in widespread shortages of the spirit because the supply cannot keep up with the demand. Grapefruit Juice The production of cranberries, which are mostly cultivated in bogs in Wisconsin and Massachusetts, have been constantly low for several years. Drought, flooding, and hailstorms in 2022 forced cranberry producers to deal with razor-thin margins and a lack of fresh cranberries. Approximately 100 million fewer pounds of cranberries were produced as a consequence than in the usual year, according to Modern Farmer, and this will continue to affect retail stock levels for the remainder of 2023. Pharmaceuticals Pharmacy shelves for ibuprofen, Tylenol, and amoxicillin were also empty this winter as a result of the threefold damage that pharmaceuticals suffered. The Food and Drug Administration warns that this summer will likely witness an increase in pharmaceutical shortages. The issue is that popular medications provide pharmaceutical firms with relatively slim profit margins, which deters manufacturers from accumulating surplus capacity or stock. On the other hand, owing to a lack of flexibility in the machinery and manufacturing processes used to produce these chemicals, consumer demand has remained stable and increasing capacity is challenging and costly. This scenario poses a danger to millions of Americans' lives rather than merely being an inconvenience. Pharmaceutical shortages have been a concern for more than 10 years, but the FDA can only do so much to secure stable supply when the issue is global in scope. Fuel Fuel customers who fill up at their neighborhood shop are likely to have issues with availability during the busy summer driving season. Gas stockpiles continue to be lower than the historical norm for this time of year and refineries are now running at roughly 80% of their capacity. As gas prices have lately risen to a five-month high and are getting close to $4 per gallon, we are all suffering at the pump. Things might become exponentially worse in a few months when stations run out of fuel due to a demand that far exceeds the supply. Waiting until everyone is rushing to the shops to get things they need might make it much too late, especially if you want to stock up on gasoline throughout the summer. Be careful to store your goods appropriately. Many additional things will be in danger of disappearing from view as a result of worsening supply and demand issues. 
The next time you go food shopping, pay attention to the bare shelves so you can determine which shortages are growing worse and which goods to buy before things become even more problematic. One significant obstacle after another is being faced by our frail supply systems, and this crisis may last longer than we anticipate. So it is now necessary to refill our pantries. What do you think about the current retail market situation? How do you think it can be managed? We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates on the latest tech trends and innovations. Thanks for watching.